California. The competition to date, Julian Williams. This match has loomed over them for a year, and the stage is now set for the showdown. Well, like his twin brother, Jermel, Jermall Charlo is fighter of the twins. His trainer, Ronnie Shields, told me Jermall will use his stiff jab to set up. Charlo says beating J-Rock tonight is the only unfinished business he has left. Teen, after his mother knocked Charlo out. Nice. He becomes. My kids, I got a daughter. Both got dreams. You know. One, two. One, two. As a fighter, Julian Williams is a little green to me. Jamal has fought plenty of guys like Julian Williams. Everyone knows that I know how to finish a fighter. This is most definitely a fight that had to happen. Everything happens for a reason, and I think that's the right time now. I'm strong, he's strong, he's smart, I'm smart. He's so close, damn. Making a chance to fight this undefeated nobody, but I'm gonna take his head off. Eye surgery, had LASIK surgery, can now see crystal clear. What is the clear height? Failing from wins, no losses. Going to come out. Before the executioner who wraps up his legendary career next weekend. Yeah. And for J-Rock. Been on yet, and Charlo has, so. Highly skilled stuff. The counters, the counters. To the front, the counters, just like you said. 54-pound tighter since Floyd Mayron in the opening frame. These are terrific A-level fighters in their prime. It's a the title. Again, I, I can't. Shows the character. Point of the opening round. Oh, J-Rock finding a whole step one. They start to faint with the jab a little bit. And uh, man will be inducted into the international box. While well, Steven Evans, he can't stay in the pocket with Charlo. Great jab to set up all that power. That's how he measures his distance. Uh, 154 pounds. Again, Charlo saw it coming. 22 wins of Cummings attacks the body with the jab. Charlo is good out hustle him in some of the... It's because he can dictate with the jab on the left hand. Trouble he has here. Oh, oh, and that jab sent Williams to the canvas. He's got to get up slowly. This, this is where the youth comes in. Six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, an amateur, and it was a power jab from Charlo that sent him to the canvas. Trying to here in round two. Oh. Oh. So Again, the counter right hand. His mission is to get to the. Oh, nice right hand, the guard. I tell you, show, show a sustained offense here, but Charlo on Dante too. Leaves his head up too fast. I thought he could have took a knee for about eight seconds. But... The second frame. Ten seconds. Stop at the Jamal Stop at the Charlo bit. drops the chap. And wow. get. J-Rock was getting ready to throw a right hand, a, a lead right hand, and got hit with the jab. And I'll tell you, when he got up... He, he, get, he gets hit right as he's stepping in, so that lead foot isn't exactly planted either. Some of it is balanced, but he was certainly hurt, I thought, Al. Yes, I, yeah, and when he got up, he wobbled, uh, and it was the... Let yeah. Williams know what did it. Later on in the round, though, Williams coming back, did some very good work. Not only counter left hooks, but that straight right hand that he landed against Charlie. And I like the step around. This shows the quality of the type of fight. Pound belt against years of age. 2005 when he was 15. There's a left hook around the guard by Williams and attacks the body with a jab. To the middleweight saying it was so hard to make the weight. He looks like his body frame could easily be under 100 amateur fights, but thus far as Williams. I'm gonna use the same right hand as come with the uppercut. Williams landed the jab. Carlos landing his jab a little more consistently this round. Oh, oh, the next time. Really skilled fight. Well, he just missed the hook. One of the things that I think Williams might want to do a little Double. Simple things get you ahead in some of the simple approach. They, but they both know they're... ...of the frame. Charlo punching in this fight yet is... The reason for that is they're both changing looks so well. Rocked him. That's good, good observation out to the body. Ten seconds, well stop at the bell. Having uh, without losing a round to Stephen Edwards, stop, stop, venturing stop, stop, a scoring suggestion. According to uh, show stats, Williams and he have landed exactly the same amount of punches. Only the beginning of the fourth round here. Any right tendencies hand. that you're starting? I've seen that, that right hand followed by the uppercut from Williams and a sharp right hand, highly skilled level. When Tyron Williams will go to the body, but when he goes to your body, he's going to go back to oh. J Rock.
And what happens when you do land a good body shot, you get to the body. So, a good observation by. There's a nice jab. But a oh, nice right hand by Williams. Oh, yes. hook with a hook. Yeah. Old adage. Be good to leave that hand by Charlie there. Oh, well, they oh man. And Williams. These guys on dunk. So I showed the character of these two guys. Probably gonna leave the pocket and then step back in. 30 seconds left in the fourth. That's kind of right by Williams. Jab. Oh. lead right by the counter to the battle because of the body. Oh, the nice right hand by Williams. Pound a title affair. And the undefeated challenger, Julius. It's an important round for Williams that round. Uh, countering well, uh, gets it a little bit, even though he did well in the previous round. Oh, left hook from Philadelphia. Oh, oh shot him too. Yields are going. Hey, Charlie takes a while, a good chin. Yeah, Charlie. Stop holding him. And the one to attack. With a big Hold statement as that young man is knocked down. This came from a tremendous uppercut on the inside by. I did what my trainer told me to do, stayed in there, and, and bang, the shot went home. He was putting up a pretty good fight. The cards were basically even until this knockout here. As we go. view now, but this one makes it amazing. Look at his roll. He rolls on this right hand, blocks the punch with the same hand, and comes with the uppercut. I actually thought he partially took the right hand at first. He actually didn't take the right hand at all. He actually blocks the punch with the same hand as he's rolling, holds his ground because... And uh, Williams had gotten up, and Charlo taking advantage of the moment, landing some shots, and then it will be uh, the left hook there that got in and the right hand. And at this point, Williams was in big trouble, and that left hook uh, hurt him, and uh, the end was almost imminent here. And the left hook again, so Charlo and, using and Jay, that punch well. And Julian should have held there. And that, again, that's in this uh, situation yeah. before, and we look again another look at the end that Williams not able to tie him up. Instead, he's on the outside. And Charlo, as he always does, measuring his opponent and taking his time, he doesn't get uh, excited when he gets an opponent in but, trouble. But you had chances to grab him there. You see how close yeah. they are? There were chances to grab it. Just Julian was more focused on covering up. Again, inexperienced at this level. What you want to do there is tie him up for as hard as you can, force a break, try to tie him up. Getting checked out. 150.